happen too soon. It was the perfect cover-up. The killer probably planned on putting Heidi's body behind the wheel of the car and sending it over a cliff. Would have covered up the murder. And it would have been blamed on worn brakes. The only problem is the killer cut it too close. The brakes went out and kabam. So who would rely on the mechanical failure of a brake pad compressed against a disc rotor to hide a body? That's not. Nothing's staring at Delta Pod yet. Hey! Uh oh. What did my loser son do now? Yes, he killed Heidi he Campbell's son. Here. Then tried to ransom the baby back to the they biological parents. <laughs> my boy ain't dead clever. Guess that's why he needed your help. Look, I told you. He was here with me all day. Yeah, and your customers confirmed that. But nobody we spoke to saw you. But a witness yeah, did see you in this Honda near the Stern paper mill this afternoon. Seems you two are more than just uh, father and son mechanics. Uh, Nice shotgun. Yeah, Seen any naval petty officers lately? Yeah, most of them look like they're D7. Where's the baby? Yeah, just stay somewhere down low. I don't know what you're talking about. So I was at a paper mill. What's that? Some kind of a crime? Oh, well, they know where we are. Baby. The baby's with Nicky. And Nicky? Well, I told him to wait here for me to call, but my moron son never does what he's told. The nose off. Polo, on it, boss. That girl of his was never going to give up that baby. I was doing those parents a favor. And her arrest for the murder of Heidi Camposano. Oh, come on. That was an accident. Petty Officer Munoz, is that an accident, too? Because his murder is also in our warrant. Look, when my brakes gave out. You mean when you rigged them to go out. You got a lot of heavy guys in the back. We know that you replaced Heidi's brakes with a set that were about to fail and make her look like she died in the crash. 